Alright, so I'm making an Xbox video, and that's a little unusual because my channel mostly focuses on cars these days. But if you go and look at some of my earlier videos, I did start off doing the car stuff and uh, video game reviews and talking about different stuff and everything. But I really don't do that anymore, but I encountered an issue with my Xbox One, and I really didn't find any information about it specifically online. And so this has enticed me to actually make a video on it. I'm not going to be doing video game stuff normally. But I just think that uh, it's something that will be useful for other people because it actually drove me nuts. And um, ultimately, it turned out to be a very easy fix. But initially, it was very hard to tell. So here is my Xbox One. And here is my new power supply. And here is my original power supply. So ultimately, I'll tell you right off the bat, the problem was a defective power supply. But I'll tell you why it drove me nuts here. And uh, I'll just kind of go through some of the quick stuff that I did. And uh, hopefully this will save you some issues in the future. First of all, just the main thing here is you can see my power supply is hooked up. This is the new one I bought off of Amazon. It's a third-party one. It's like uh, 25 bucks Canadian. Um, and that's currently hooked up. And if you see, it could turn on the Xbox. No problem, it turns on. The light's on, the LED's on, no problem. This one, the standard power supply, the one that comes with the Xbox, has an orange and white light in here. This one I bought as a green light, but still the same thing. And you see the Xbox turns on, no problem. Okay, I've shut the Xbox back off, and you'll see the power supply still hooked up. Another thing I noticed was you can see the LED here, and when you unplug it, it's going to plug it from the back. It shuts off pretty immediately, right? Okay, so now I've just hooked up. This is the original power supply. It is currently not hooked up to the Xbox. But you can see that the light's on right now. It is plugged in. But what I had noticed, which was kind of odd to me at first, when I was starting to test, was when I unplugged it, it stayed on for an unusual amount of time. You can see it there. I didn't recall doing this. Maybe if someone is an Xbox user... As I don't, I don't have enough Xbox to check, but to me, this seemed like to stay on a very, very long time. And you, even if it was plugged into the Xbox, it would just stay on. You know, it would just continuously stay on. You can see it's still on right now, and that to me was strange. But I, I it, it raised a small alarm, but not a big alarm at the time. And it'll stay on for a few minutes actually sometimes. And that was a little, little weird to me. So that's the first thing and you see. It is unplugged right now. All right. But it's still, the light's still on. Now, I'm going to take the console. And we're going to plug that in. All right? It's plugged in now. Nothing. Nothing at all. So, this had me kind of puzzled at first, right? I was like, all right, what's going on? So I looked up the specs. First thing I said before I even test the console, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test this out. So I looked at the specs and I saw that, you know, you got your power going in and it outputs 5 volts of the wire. And uh, when it turns on, it changes the output to 12 volts. So actually, funny enough, although I didn't even know this, to be honest, until I inspected, I uh, looked up the specs. This is kind of like a, like a car, essentially, 12 volts. But it's 5 volts. So pull that out there. Oop, that's my HMI. <laughs> this one, yeah. And uh, I tested it in here, making sure not to touch the leads or anything like that. And I was getting 5 volts. So, 5 volts are there. I uh, checked online, and everyone is saying that there's basically uh, four statuses to this light, I guess you can say. There's the solid orange, solid white, a flashing orange, and off. Right? Obvious one. So... Um, this just stayed orange, wouldn't change white at all, but it, according to the specs out there, solid orange means it should be working. Um, however, uh, it never flashed, didn't do like a, uh, flashing or anything. I don't know what the speed of the flash was supposed to be, no flashing. And unless I unplugged it and waited like a good minute and a half, two minutes, it didn't shut off. Okay. So I left that for a moment though, and I started testing the Xbox. That's not, not my first foray into opening a console and doing repairs on it. I have done it for PS3 and Xbox 360 in the past when they were past warranty. So I said, okay, I'm going to look up on how to open it up. And I opened it. I tested all the connections on the back. I opened the console up, uh, tested inside.
And yes, that is a picture of the inside of my console. Um, I know the hard drive is off to the side and everything. I was taking everything apart bit by bit, inspecting the, the main motherboard, uh, inspecting wiring, looking for any frays, damage, burns, um, anything, like that. anything that would indicate to me at all that there was a problem here. I tested there's a motherboard, a small little circuit board that runs, not a motherboard, a circuit board that runs on, behind here. The control of that, I tested all that. And I was fine. So I opened up the whole, whole console, tested it, and I didn't see anything, anything that would indicate there was a problem to me. Until I saw this. I put the console all back together. I'm like, all done. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I need a new console. And then I took the power supply just to test it one more time. Oh, and by the way, I did everything. I, um, I disconnected this and disconnected the console, left it for 30 seconds. Then I did it for two minutes. Then I did it for two hours. And then I did it for a full day. I tried all that. I tried different button combinations, just rapidly tapping the power, the eject, the sync um, at the side there. Um, I went online and looked. A lot of people had suggestions. I found online how to do the reset, which is holding these buttons and hitting the power while holding these. Um, the sync and the eject and keep holding it and it'll do a master reset. But the console is completely non-responsive. Nothing at all. Nothing going on here. So I did all the tests I could. I went online. I looked at tons and tons of different tests, tried everything, both from Microsoft, from forums, from different websites, and nothing worked. I was like, okay. So now you can see the LED. I'm going to show you here. And it was so small, such a small little thing. I didn't notice it because from far, from like even from here, it's very hard to notice. But I was hooking up the console. I was really close to it now, right? Let me just go here and I'll show you. I'm hooking it up. I'm going to hook up the power. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? I'm not even sure if the refresh rate on the phone can catch it. You see a very, very, very slight flicker. I've unplugged it now. I'm going to plug it back in. Let's plug it back in again. You see a very, so slight flicker that's going on there. So I saw that and I was like, that does, that's definitely not right. Right. Something is wrong there. I'm unplugging it now. Goes away, right? Go again. Slight flicker. So, now it's unplugged again. I don't know if it caught it. I'm not sure if the refresh rate on the phone I'm recording with can actually catch it. I'm pretty sure it did at least to some degree, but it's so slight. It's so, I couldn't even see it. And I have, you know, pretty good eyes and I couldn't even tell. So, I was like, all right. <clears throat> I contacted a few people I know who have Xbox Ones. No one, everyone has S consoles. I have an original day one console. Everyone has S, uh, S consoles and stuff like that. The power bars, power supply is different. I didn't even have a, uh, a power supply there. It's just a power cord and that's it. And this plug is different. So, um, all right. I said, I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to buy an aftermarket one just to try it. Other than having to buy a new console. And as you guys saw, hooked it up. Boom. Work. No problem. So the reason I'm making this video though, is because I went I, even after I found this out, I went online and I was looking, I was like, trying to find anything on a slight flicker in the, the power supply or anything like that. And no one had anything on it. There was another website about it or anything like that. And I thought it'd just be very useful to share that with you guys because it saved, it caused a lot of headache for me. Um, you know, I didn't, I ultimately I didn't even need to open up the console. It was just a bad power supply, but it was a flicker that was so, so minute that it was very hard to, uh, very easy to miss. So, you know, hopefully with that, it's something to watch out for. Uh, that's what this whole video is about and they're going through everything I've done just so you guys can know that that's what it was. So obviously there's some kind of short in there. That, that's, um, I mean, something in the, uh, I don't, I've never opened this, so I don't know, but something in how it converts from the, the uh, AC voltage to DC voltage, something in there shorting out. I imagine there's some, maybe some sort of capacitor in there or something. That's why it's retaining the charge. Um, and uh, it's obviously not, uh, not functioning correctly it's not putting out outputting correctly and for what 25 bucks canadian other than trying to open this and mess with it i'd rather just buy a new one but it's up to you how you want to do about it but i thought that'd be just uh, very helpful to know and that's what this video is all about and hopefully those who watch will find it helpful in uh and hopefully not uh waste time opening a console check that first